On January 28, 1920, a Russian expedition led by Thaddeus Bellingshausen and Mikhail Lazarev discovered Antarctica. Previously, the existence of the southern continent was asserted hypothetically, often being conflated with South America, for example, on a map drawn by Piri Reis in 1513, and Australia. The most mysterious continent on Earth beckons explorers, discoverers, and even conspiracy theory buffs. Surprising discoveries and finds amaze not only ordinary people, but also prominent scientists as well. Blood falls, a Martian meteorite, strange finds, and even a huge lake lurking in its ice for thousands of years. However, let's get to the bottom of it all in order. The Martian meteorite that we know as Allen Hills 84001 was found in the Allen Hills Mountains in Antarctica on December 27, 1984. This find caused a wide public outcry because fossilized microscopic structures that could have been bacteria were found on the surface of the meteorite. The question of the extraterrestrial origin of bacteria is still open. But the fact that the size of the structures found is only 20 to 100 nanometers in diameter, which is much smaller than any form of cell life known to us, speaks in its favor. The uniqueness of Allen Hills 84001 is also in the fact that, according to research data, it broke away from its home planet 4 billion years ago, when there was still liquid water. The rest of the meteorites found on Earth no longer belong to the era of wet Mars. Some scientists are sure that an asteroid consisting mainly of metals is hidden in the bowels of Antarctica in the Wilkes Land area. It may be the one that changes our understanding of life in space. However, there is currently no way to test this hypothesis. The cost of an expedition and drilling ice of this thickness requires an enormous amount of money. Despite much research, Wilkes Land remains the most unexplored and beckoning territory for scientists. One of the greatest geographic discoveries of the 20th century was the subglacial Lake Vostok, which was discovered in Antarctica. The most amazing thing about this find is that it was hidden under a layer of ice 4 kilometers thick. Scientists believe that the lake was cut off from the outside world by a glacier for several million years. The size of Lake Vostok is astonishing, with a total area of about 16,000 square kilometers and a depth that can reach up to 1,200 meters. Most likely, it remains unfrozen because of underground geothermal sources. Drilling the well was a complex and lengthy process, started in 1989, suspended in 1999 due to fears of contamination of the unique ecosystem, and returned to it only in 2006, to be completed in 2013. Since 2015, the active stage of studying the lake has begun. In a water sample, scientists discovered microorganisms, one of which is of an unknown species. Those were samples from the surface, but the most interesting will begin when they can get samples from the bottom, where it's assumed that the water is heated by thermal springs and is suitable for life. Perhaps scientists will soon be able to find unprecedented species of creatures. Who knows who evolved in the closed ecosystem of Lake Vostok? The fact that Antarctica was once a green continent, scientists have guessed since the time of the first expeditions to a new land. However, they recently made a discovery that puzzled modern science. Over and over again, in different regions of Antarctica, they find burned and fossilized forests, which not only prove the theory of green Antarctica, but also pose a new challenge for scientists to determine what happened to the forest. A study of the fossils has shown a serious level of fire damage, which suggests that ancient forests died about 200 million years ago as a result of a large-scale fire, which in turn could be caused by a meteorite or volcanic activity. Studies on this issue are still going on to this day. More recently, scientists discovered a ridge of volcanoes hidden under the ice in Antarctica. It can claim to be the largest ridge in the world, as it has 91 volcanoes. How many of them are active is still a mystery, because they're hidden under a glacier, the thickness of which in some places reaches 2 kilometers. The region was explored using radar and other special equipment. One of the researchers, Robert Bingham, is confident that other volcanoes may be lurking at the bottom of the sea under the ice shelf, which could turn Antarctica into the region with the highest concentration of them. Of particular concern to scientists now is how a potential eruption could affect ice melt and what that could mean. It's hard to imagine what Griffith Taylor experienced when he first discovered Blood Falls in 1911. 
The red stream pouring out of the snow-white glacier looked truly terrifying. However, the scientist pulled himself together and suggested that the red color of the water was caused by algae miraculously preserved in the glacier. For a long time, the blood falls remained a mystery, which was solved only in the 21st century. Water samples from the glacier and other studies have shown that the water comes from a subglacial lake that has been completely isolated for a long time. The microorganisms inhabiting it managed to adapt to the absence of light and oxygen, and in the process of evolution began to obtain life energy by reducing sulfates dissolved in water to sulfites. This amazing natural phenomenon allows scientists to speculate that life in the same form may have survived on other planets. Scientists found the first dinosaur fossils in Antarctica in 1986, and in 2006 they managed to repeat the find, but we were talking about single specimens. However, in 2016 the expedition on James Ross Island received an unprecedented catch. In total, more than a ton of dinosaur remains were found. This amount of material for detailed analysis is a good opportunity to shed light on the extinction of dinosaurs. Now active work is underway on the obtained remains. Some of the specimens are more than 71 million years old. Detailed species data is not yet available, but it's already known that some bones belong to plesiosaurs and mesosaurs, others to smaller birds and even ducks at the end of the Cretaceous. In addition to the listed finds, elongated skulls were discovered in Antarctica, allegedly belonging to aliens or ancient people of a previously unknown species. This shocking news has traveled around the world and forced scientists to puzzle how to classify such a find. However, after numerous studies, it turned out that the usual skulls were the remains of human ancestors, simply with a deformation, widespread in a particular historical era. However, it was not reported how these skulls got there. Perhaps the following find can help answer this question? Egyptian pyramids amid centuries-old ice is another mystery of the southern continent. Several years ago, the world community was again stirred by another discovery. Pyramids similar to those built in Egypt were found in Antarctica. It was also reported that the buildings have similar parameters and even interior decoration. Numerous researchers have discussed the sensation and put forward theories of how such structures could appear on the continent. Later, it became known that the so-called pyramid in Antarctica is only one and is only a part of the Vinson Massif. In fact, it's an ordinary mountain which, due to strong winds that reached 300 km per hour in the land of permafrost, took such a non-standard shape. Just recently, YouTube users were stirred by another find. The creators of the video claimed that they captured the landing of a UFO. The footage shows how an unidentified object is moving along one of the mountain slopes. Since it's difficult to determine its exact outlines, it seemed to some that it was an object of an extraterrestrial civilization that descended to Earth. However, according to scientists, it's nothing more than an ordinary block that has broken away from a glacier and is simply sliding through the snow. There are also many conspiracy theories and openly speculative theories about the Nazi base in Antarctica. One of the most popular is that the Nazis created a secret military base here, 211 New Berlin, where certain sacred artifacts of the Third Reich, including the Holy Grail, were allegedly hidden. After the defeat of Nazi Germany, supporters of this hypothesis claim that New Berlin became the foundation for the construction of the Fourth Reich, and even an impregnable Grand Fortress was erected there. Of course, these theories have practically nothing to do with reality, other than the fact that Germany did take part in the exploration of Antarctica. The territory to which Nazi Germany made claims was named New Swabia. Today, the German research station Neumeyer 3 operates on the territory of the former, or rather never took place, New Swabia. Today, Antarctica remains the least explored area of our planet. As a result of global warming, the tundra has begun to actively form on the Antarctic Peninsula, making the southern land even more attractive to people. Scientists predict that the first trees may appear in Antarctica in 100 years. The Antarctic Peninsula, with its adjacent islands, has the most favorable climatic conditions on the continent. It is here that two species of flowering plants found in the region grow – the Antarctic hare grass and Colobanthus quitensis. Sponge-like creatures were discovered under the Antarctic ice shelf.
So the southern continent is just beginning to reveal its secrets to us.